morning. I'm Heather Williamson for Freedom's Voice Media. This week in the news, a Massachusetts audit has found that dead recipients are collecting millions of dollars in welfare. In the past few years, there has been over $18 million paid out. Now, what Main Street Media won't say, because it's not politically correct, is that over a thousand of those are identity theft crimes using the social security number of actual dead people. The audit itself covered cash, food stamps, and other direct benefits for low-income families. The people committing this crime can garner benefits for up to 27 months after their victim was reported dead. Pays to be dead in America, doesn't it? Congress is still probing Eric Holder, trying to get clarification as to why he denied any knowledge in the potential prosecution of members of the press when he was the person signing off on the investigation of the Fox News reporter and his personal communications. The problem with Eric Holder is he has denied knowledge of so many things one would have to start questioning if this man is a total buffoon or the world's greatest liar. But as we are witnessing now, even someone as good as him at telling lies gets caught keeping them all straight. In business this week, China is at it again, buying up Smithfield Foods, America's largest pork distributor, making many wonder if America is capable of maintaining ownership of anything anymore. And from the reports circulating from a story in the Washington Post this week, China now has stolen designs for many critical military technologies, including the designs for the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter Program, the most expensive weapon system ever built, costing upwards of $1.4 trillion. Military leaders say the item stolen by China gives them a way to counter all of our military strategies. Hey, Washington, I've got a great plan. We are told we owe China $798 plus billion. So just on the one weapon system alone, we should send them a letter saying paid in full. If we charge them $600 billion just for one weapon system, we could clear up most of our $16 trillion in debt in no time. For detailed information on these stories and others, please go to freedomsvoicemedia.com.